不，道理呢是无形、无体、无相，这叫做一实相。不多Okay, let us start now. Warm welcome to our masters, Hwale Dhamma team and brothers and sisters around the globe to Saturday Hwale Dhamma talk. A very good morning. Let us start the session for today. Let us send our sincere prayers into the 10 directions. May the Saha land be free from disaster and peace prevails in the world. Let us sing the prayer song with sincere piousness. May there be peace in the community. May there be no disasters in this world. Now let us pray together for universal love and blessing. With loving respect, gratitude, and confidence, let us wish every person in our lives a healthy body, an enlightened mind, and a total fulfillment in universal love. Now let us expand this consciousness to include every person in the world, every being in the universe. Let our unified love make this wonderful world even better. Let us all immerse ourselves in the joyful embrace of universal love. Before we hear the wonderful sharing, let us invite our masters to lead us in paying homage to the Triple Gems. Let us pay our respects for these teachings and explanations 
to the Buddha and Master Chen Yan by making three sincere bows. Please rise, palms together. First bow. Second bow. Third bow. And a bow to our beloved Abu Masters who could join us today. Okay, so today we have uh, three sharers, uh, Sister Iru and Sister Wunchi will be uh, sharing on uh, uh, the uh, from about Bukaya, uh, hope and love at Bukaya and the education hope project in Bukaya. And we have Sister Lynette Rondell from Philippines who will be sharing on trajectories of compassion. Okay, before that, we'll let us invite Sister Su Ching for the weekly summary. Sister Su Ching, over to you. Ka'an. Yeah, Sister Lily. Okay, let me just look this up very quickly. Hmm. So last week, ooh, a lot of sharers last week. So let me do this one by one. Um. <clears throat> A collection of sharers from the translation team. Not too long ago, Brother David's talk sparked a, a translation quest from offline beginnings to a group of dedicated volunteers at their best. Two groups now thrive using technology to bridge miles away, uniting hearts through words, come what may. The Sister June, at the start, a challenge references complex and deep. Sister June's not fluent in Mandarin, this disadvantage to keep. Tao Xiong's wise sister and advice she did in part, start to be great was what soothed Sister June's heart. Despite unfamiliarity, Sister June diligently did her translating. What you learn to do, you certainly learn by doing. Just work within deadlines as possible with the team's shared load. Not there is no worry, no stress. This is a path of a translator's road. And Sister Suisa came on. Time, travels, challenge, challenge add to Sister Suisa's translations, translations tasks, time differences and meetings she needed to unmask. Many a time she was tempted to surrender, but as deep learning persists, she became more diligent. Sister Suisan apologizes for some delays in a humble tone. Her commitment stands firm and her dedication shown. Sister Suisan perseveres, last to submit at times, grateful to contribute and to be part of the team, Sister Suisan chimes. Sister Masita from UK, in grateful words for her mother, Sister Masita, she praised for leading her to values where she is raised. In the UK, this work keeps Sister Masita, Sister Masita grounded, connected to her roots, where wholesome values are founded. Being part of a team, Sister Masita feels supported and strong. She's grateful to serve in an environment where she belongs. In the service, she cherishes the opportunity and her heart elates. For this translation work, being reminded of grounding values at life stage. And Brother Ho from Kelantan. Brother Ho is a pioneer at Wisdom at Dawn's start. Brother Ho resides in Kelantan, where not too long ago, a personal experience challenged his heart. Where before he was blindly chanting, seeking wisdoms in the vast seas, now he is landed in translation where his work benefits the community. Brother Ho founded brother, found Brother David humorous and entertaining guide. Past works with bilingual translations are where East and West collide. Brother Ho mouths over the seven sutra books untouched as time whispers near. Because ages urgency heightens, wisdom's chase is more sincere. Then we have Brother Joshua from all the way from the US. From Chinese schooling languages, three he wields. In the U.S. since 2009 is where his journey yields. The pandemic halted activities, seized the momentum he had in his stride. 
when an opportunity by Sister Hilda was posed, translation work to guide. Brother Joshua, Joshua chose the English team. Chosen because many Malaysian ties held it tight. Malaysia Bole is his resounding mantra and his spirit takes flight. Interpreting Malay, Cantonese, English and more. In the acts of transcripts and translation, open many wisdom stores. And then we had um, Brother Victor and Sister Janet. In Beijing, Typhoon Dusare's wrath did unfold. Close to Brother Victor and Sister Janet, its force took hold. Disrupting flights, warning alarms resounded. Heavy rains for many days caused floods aftermath profound. City volunteers wielded shovels in hand and in that mire. Rescue efforts surged as hearts lifted higher. 20,000 households were aided. Care material were brought near. When communities are united, differing people shared their fear. From France to Texas, the Earth's disaster, disasters are wide. Yet Zeti is always there with relief extended. Such is Zeti's pride. With climate change to have up, storms gather and arise causing mankind's impact, using weather as skies. With hotter temperatures, seas evaporate faster and denser. Floods, hurricanes are the ugly side of water. These are all to be blamed on human. Yes, humans too, solutions are sought. As fossil fuels are phased out, this reduce, reduces the pressure on the climate clock's fraught. We are all undeniably, we all undeniably have the shared skies. This, in this only world we own, the call is to preserve and act now before it's overblown. Times limited. In no time, the climate clock's gonna chime. We only have one word, one world to protect. This one world for all time. Thank you for listening, and um, gonna let me. And over to Sister Suchin to introduce the next speaker. Thank you. And then Sister Suchin for the wonderful, wonderful summary, which uh, I think all of us enjoy listening every week, right? Okay. Very good morning, brothers and sisters uh, who are diligently tuning in this morning. Uh, today, we really have uh, a very great affinity uh, and blessing to be able to continue uh, listening to the um, great works that's been done by our brothers and sisters uh, in Bodhgaya, uh, Buddha's homeland, this great relay of love. And uh, a really great affinity because I wasn't supposed to be the host today, yeah? <laughs> but but because of uh, Brother Chin was unable to make it. Uh, and when I took over and I realized, wow, today I'm meeting two of the uh, speakers today uh, uh, whom I have a great affinity with and always look up to as uh, role models. So without further ado, I would like to introduce our first sharer today, uh, who is uh, whom I know as uh, Teacher Hui Li. Uh, because uh, Teacher Hui Li was uh, the teacher that I knew in uh, 2013 when my daughter first enrolled in Ta'ai Kindergarten. Okay, but today she has uh, taken on the Dhamma name that Master gave her and she is known as Sister Iru, all right? And Sister Iru was uh, in Bodhgaya uh, for almost a month. But before that, I want to tell everybody that ever since she graduated in 2009, Sister Iru has been in the education mission from Da'ai Kindi to TCIS KL and recently in Bodhgaya. So without further ado, let us all uh, give a warm welcome to Sister Iru with her sharing about hope and love in Bodhgaya. The platform is yours, Sister Iru. Thank you, good thank morning. You. Welcome. A very good morning to our beloved master, adopted sisters and uh, brother and sister across the globe. Okay, this is my first time to use uh, English to share with you all. So hope you all understand what I'm sharing. I try my, I use the kindergarten label to sharing. Huh? Okay, okay. So 
uh, for a study I want to say uh, is Supra Bhat. Super Bhat is India word is uh, good morning, Super Bhat. Okay, so uh, today the title is about hope and love at Bugaya. So uh, through this portal, you all can see the, the love, the hope, right? This one is when we go do some event. Then when I sing a song in, in Hindi, then I, uh, for beginning, we don't want to have any children, any uh, adult want to come one. Then, then I, because Master Chen Yen said, don't give up anyone. We need to have, um, how to say, we need to catch everyone. Maybe go one time, got the moment, they will join us. So I sing, 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 sing. Then suddenly my hand, got a little girl, hold my hand. Eh? Oh, okay, you can let go. Then sing, 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 sing. Then another one, one by one to come. Eh, I feel that this is have the hope and love at Bogaya. So um, I want to say is, uh, uh, from before I start, I want to, uh, after I come back from Bogaya at the hot, heartwarming dialogue session on charity mission on 28 August, uh, Master Chen has said that the thousand mile journey begins with the first step. I look forward to see all volunteers both physically and online. Even if you have just taken a small step, a small step, where there are thousands of an inch, they will be inches. Where there are inches, they will be feet. A thousand meters next one kilometer. In the same manner, a thousand mile journey begins with the first step. Prop propagating the dharma and benefiting life is everyone's responsibility. Do your best and unite the group strength, proceeding inch by inch, step by step, through a relay of love for the benefit of all beings in the world. This is a master's excerpt from Master Chinese speech. You know, for me, is from beginning, if I look all huh, what Mr. Chinese said, I don't understand what is small kilometer. I cannot get the how to say the meaning. So I said, huh, what, what is that? What is that? Then one day, uh, not one day, after I go to India, then I said, oh, I got it. How? Oh, okay, this is the location for India with the uh, Hualien. Okay, here is Hualien, okay? And then this, uh, the bo the bo uh, Boda land, it's got Nepal and the Bogaya. Okay, so I go, it's the Bogaya. Bogaya is same line with the, about the Hualien. So the, the distance is, Three thousand at three zero zero zero, and then from Malaysia go there. I need to how to say exchange the fly lah. Then I said, oh, when I got the chance to go, this is my first step. This is my first step to become a, uh, uh, how to say the international volunteer. Because before that I said, can I go? Then I said, ayah, I feel okay. One cannot, cannot one. Then when sister Lee call me, you want to go? I said, ah, I got the chance. Okay, lor. Then I must. I quickly do all the things, buy the ticket, then I fly and go there. Then actually, beginning, I said, I go two weeks, uh, two weeks go Bogaya, two weeks go in um, the, the Taiwan. Then sister said, Ayo, you come already, you just come one month now. Then I said, Oh, okay, Lord. Then all the thing is, okay, Lord, just one step, you see, one step, but I go for three, three, zero, zero, zero kilometer already. So from the beginning, it's got uh, the hope and got the love starting. And then after that is um when arrive if you have been go to Bogaya, you will have this matching is when the Buddha sit on the at the at there you you will feel wow finally I arrived at the Bogaya. When I first arrived, then I said welcome home like our we go back to Hualien. So it's really is have thank you for have the chance to have opportunity to come to go home to go Bogaya go for one month. Mm. And then, uh, it's possible. Okay, this is I hope to have a uh, interaction with everyone, <laughs> so it's, I'm not alone at here. So, is it possible to overturn the Boga both land? It's no matter uh, Nepal, no matter Bogaya. It's possible. When I when I heard Master Chen Yen last last year say, oh, we, we need to transformation the um both bo land. Then I think it's possible. I think so because my life. My my life is changes by after me with Tsuji. So for me, it's possible. So this this is the um, when I see on the flight, then I see wow, this is before arrive um 
beginning is many, many, many small, small, small uh, house. Then I said, wow, after almost arrived the Bogaya, it's nothing, nothing. You see, very, very a little bit. And then this is the river. The river is no no water. Then I feel, ha, ah, this is my life. I very simple is just go for go for a uh, helping people. I think that I didn't think too much because somebody maybe say India very dangerous, very what 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 don't want to go. Then for me is Master Sunya asked us to go go for help people. Just go only. So I just go. Then when arrive, then the one man over there we will we uh, we go to helping something, go to do something. We will see little girl, little boy follow us. Why they will say. Help me, help me, please give me money. Then they uh before we go, sister, brother uh advise us don't give anyone because we don't want let them know that uh, you give me money, I don't need to study, then I have I got money can survive. So we didn't give that. I also I only say study yeah, study yeah. <laughs> like this one that I just say you just study, then you can change your life. And then also we can see the children over there is playing on the floor. Um, although they are hurt, they also all oh, just play only. So it's feel that oh, go hot or not, go can just can transfer, uh, change their life or not. Um, for your own information, this is at uh, August when I go to uh, Bogaya, we go for night school. Now already 10 school is diff some some of school uh, is different already uh, because built for the uh, affinities. Uh. So this is the list. And then uh, some school, so today I will say something about we go to school, what we do. So this is the first school, is um, it's behind our hotel. Wow, you see the morning, five, five, uh, because the India is have two, two and a half hours, uh, it's not same with Malaysia. Lah. So now it's a uh, day, also it's uh, midnight like this. So when early morning, then I need to wake up because sometimes I got uh, some, some admin work to do. And then so this is I okay, can show you all. It's very near. Then we use this is the first time we use the behind way to go there. And then you see. This is that it. Uh, yeah, sorry. You you to um how to say you can see that um uh, the behind is very many garbage over there. So everyone said, I'm oh, so dangerous. So please, please next time go. With the in front way, don't go behind way. Like Master Chen Yin teach us, we know we need go in front way. Don't don't go for small small way. It's very dangerous. You see, need hold the hand because the this is the staircase. But look, no, it's staircase. And then this is um, this is a school. It's very beautiful because I also wow. It's in front of that the school is all the paddy field. Wow, you see, it looks so nice. Why I got see this uh share this video later, you will know. Uh, when we go, it's still nothing. But now, if go, it has a lot of rice already. Okay, okay. So um, sometimes we go to visit the school. Is we are just walking. We just walking there, and then so we can enjoy how to say we can uh relate bonding with the student because we are used the same way go to school. Then we can talking. Hey, how are you? Ah, what the thing? Ah, what learning? Ah, like this one can have a good relationship. And then sometimes we go by Tutu. Tutu is one of the uh, transport at Bogaya. Okay. Then this one is we go for 40 minutes the way the distant one. Uh, this one is still okay. But if another one you will feel, oh, uh, you look like ride a horse like this one. So you can see this all the way is very smooth one. Uh, so we are not feel uh, very painful. Uh, so we can, as we can, on the way, we uh, can maybe discuss with our teachers, with local volunteers, what we do like this one. Okay. And then uh, this is one of the school called Lotus Academy. This one is uh, very nearby our hotel. And then everyone can guess, what is this? When I saw this, hmm, what is this? This boy, what are doing? Then suddenly, gong, 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 gong. What are doing? It's fire, fire, fire coming. Then, oh, the, this one is because. In, in Malaysia, we have the school bell from, how to say, have a, a, a machine come out. But they are very simple life in Indian. So they use a thing and think, kong, 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 say, uh, now change class, change class. I said, oh, so it's different voice. Uh, they, yeah, I want to take top video, but it's very fast. Kong, 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 kong. 
then no more already. So I cannot share the video. But some school is like this one. They will have have the uh school bell like this one. Uh. So okay, start our class. So different. I I use three three kinds of uh school for sharing lah. Uh. So this one is the school is Jen and the the bomb. They 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 have their classroom, but if they want have organized a big event, or many a uh, large uh people students, they will use this place to do so. Okay, so you will see all oh, everyone sit on the floor. But before sitting on the floor, they also will have uh, put their shoes neatly like this one. Uh. Mm, they also all the thing is they will have to set up all the thing, and then uh also is sit on the floor. But student also uh how to take effort to writing uh writings of uh, for reason what they learn they write on on a book like this one then you just need oh then this one what happened why is so amazing if for city wouldn't he would say hey help help to clean up all the things right but this is a very special school this uh school is is our school uh how to say it's student school also is student hostel. This is their house. This is their home. Because some of the children is their parents is stay very far. So they can how to say come back and go back like this one. So they all sleep at here, study at here. So at night become their room. At morning we become their classroom. So you can see so many clothes at there. Then also you see the this is their table. Also if their table is use the book and then they write on here. So this here is their floor. When I first said that I go, then got somebody at Malaysia volunteer tell me, you didn't see anything, man? I said, what thing? Got what thing? Got the rest. <laughs> I got the rest. Because for the beginning, I go sit on the floor. I said, oh, so, so scary. But luckily, the red is love me. So didn't come out. I said, oh, for the one month, I really didn't stay, see the real um, red. I think the red also love me so they, they also i know i so scared her maybe she learning at that okay so this is just the is the environment also is not not very good for, for us we will say hey look look like not very good but for them this is their chance to transformation their life they are learn very hard so it's no matter how is the surrounding they study hard and then we will say hey, like this one and then also got some school is and got a school one it's very small and then combine two class become one class so here you through the photo you can see is maybe the the age is very big different maybe uh seven years old eight years old with the nine ten years old if we are teacher we will know wow if we teach seven years old it's not easy already there were eight nine ten four level together oh no really is how to survive but Luckily, a uh, student all is very good interactive with uh local volunteer with all of us. So you can see that very not not bad. And then you see, oh, you see, at some school is like look like normal. This is first time when I see is oh okay quite good. After that, when I see oh when one day is full attendance, oh no, all is full pack of student. Then you have not see wrong here. Got student. They are. The, there is also a seat on the ground. It's their study place. Also, some feet are our table. You see, they want to learning. They want will find many ways to solve the problem. And then you will see, hey, you took uh see carefully why I took for top. You see, this is first one, second one. What is the same thing? Uh, like teacher will ask teacher students, students see. From these two photos, what is the same thing? Uh, the same thing is, yeah, you see, I circled this one. This one is our, their school bag, made by the rice bag. I know, you can see, oh, auto, they are not uh, rich, but they have seen many ways to solve the problem. How use the material to become their school bag. So we can see that. Well, they have the, how to say, have the heart to learn more, to go to school, they will solve all the problems. So I feel that, well, when I go there, uh, some people will say, well, very pity, pity. Uh. This for me is, wow, well, maybe it's because I go for school, every, every day I go for school. So I feel that they got hope, they got love, they have chance to become a nut, to transformation their life like this. And then you see, 
um, because like like just now I said, hey, there are school beside this for the pedophilia. Some school is like this one. So maybe sometimes if you don't have student, it's because they have a start hours. They need to go to do work, so they didn't come to school. Some of children can come to school, but you will see like just now you see why some 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 maybe volunteer will say why why you didn't wear the shoes why like this one. After they will know that it's because when they want to come to school, they need to walk along the pedestal. If they wear the shoes, oh no, the shoes cannot see already, full of the soil. So they directly don't wear the shoes, just come only. Because the part is, I want to learn study. So they come, you see, wow, amazing. And then sometimes uh, when go there, it's with people of challenge because it's caught in there. Sometimes they say, holiday. When you go there, huh? Holiday? Cannot do anything. But sometimes we, when we go there, say, oh, I'm so sorry. We have not erected. Oh my goodness. We already, because we want to sharing about, um, uh, we need to use the projector uh, and then laptop to share about Shizhi. So when we go there, say, nothing. We have not erected. Wow, you need to, this really call is Bin Hua Chiu, you know, many challenges. So luckily we go there, we go bring a lot of laptops, not a lot of two two laptops. So we suddenly fast transfer all the all the what all the video, all the information. We need to think because we cannot say, I'm not electric, I then go back home. We cannot. We can't already. We must uh, how to say solve the problem. So well, it's full of Thank you for have how to say thank you. Uh, we have uh the chance at learning at the city at KL so that when go there is no problem. Any ch challenge come, we just solve that only. And then so you see why we transfer all the photos. So we learn the student is one group, one group. They see the laptop. Although it's very small, but they are very pay effort to watch what is the video want to bring out. So no matter. It's not uh, very easily, but um, we can feel the heart they would, would learn it because uh, got a volunteer tell us, uh, got a teacher tell us, uh, at, at India, uh, last time, many, many years ago, they have the moral class teach them, and we need to love everyone, uh, so and so. But after that, don't know why. They didn't have the uh, moral class already. So when we study, go there to teaching the things of our exam, they feel very, wow, so thankful. Have people tell them we need to respect others. We need to blah, blah, blah. They feel that very important. So they have very cherished this opportunity to learn a lot from a uh, city volunteer. Although we go to their school, is one, one week, one time. But they, uh, how to say, grab the opportunity to learn everything. Hmm. And then so you can see through this uh, video. <laughs> मनसूद का मतलब समझते हैं मनसूद यानी कि हमेशा आपको जो है अच्छी बातें सोचिए मन में बुरी बात नहीं जैसे आप लोग कभी-कभी देख रहे हैं कि अरे वहां तो आम हरल है वहां आम हरल है आज जाकर चुरा रहा है आज ये दिमाग में पहले ही से बैठे आज यहां से निकलेंगे ना तक खजूर खा चलना है इस तरह इस इंडियन इंडियन लैंग्वेज ये ये बोलते you all go to speak in India. Okay, okay, no. You go to speak in uh, English and then use the local volunteer translate to the in India. So, uh, volunteer, we uh, oversee women, volunteer, the, how to say, yeah, we, our role, go there is uh, train them, we accompany uh, them, let them one day, because one day, Bo Bogaya will become a station. They need to, uh, the uh, local volunteer need to grow up themselves, go to spread the city love themselves. So they need to learn oh, what, how to speak in their language. Then for our role, it's make sure they are not, they are go with the same direction with city at the same path like this one. Uh, so through the video, you can see, wow, the all students, although very small laptop, but everyone is pay attention, also interaction with the, our, uh, if it's our teacher lah. Okay, and then so we can see that despite the difficulties, but I still study hard. So you can see, for, for me, it's really full of love, full of touching when they learn hardly. They will when see the emotion, can see their, through their emotion, well, they are enjoy, enjoy the movie, enjoy the what we bring in. That oh, I feel that 
painful, we have chance to go inside. And then you see, uh, because we go inside for education, we also how to say we have uh have a uh, have uh how to say uh, we need to make sure they are clean. They have uh cut their nail like this one. And then you see that for because I'm Chi I I know Chi is because I, when I in what in uh, university, then I'm a naughty girl. Okay, the naughty girl is I will curious why why we need to hear like a uh, piano uh, like this one. But I, I said hey, I already eighteen years old. What I like very childish. Then after I know Chi Chi and that when after I go here I know more why. So you all see this. This photo, you say, ah, oh, like this. Maybe we are say normal la, like this one. And then after I help them tie the hair, I say, wow, wonderful. It's really not them already. The the things are very more uh have energetic, more brightly. So I more have the how to say when I if some uh you what say I don't want to tie here that I will. I will share this photo to them that you see we are really not them already. And then so um the two love acting team uh in Chinese say because like in uh, like Malaysia, some country is everyone, say, oh I want to add everything I can add. No, not only Malaysia, not only Taiwanese students, but also Indian students. They also like acting very much. If you go to do research, we we also will see that. Uh, the movie for India is more many uh, actors come out, right? So when can do the acting, they will say, hey, choose, choose me. Wow, so aggressive. They will say, wow, very well done. Then we are, we are very, acting very, really, truly like this one. Uh, and then uh, not only student learning, the teacher here behind is not, uh, is not their parents. It's really it's their headmaster, their teacher, we uh follow us to learn together. No matter one hour, they only stand there and listen, listen, listen. Because uh, we hope that we not only we go one time only. Uh, other time if teacher can, they also can. Any hey, last time we say we learn the things operation say like this one, so we need to do this one, this one. Because also this school uh their headmaster got sharing with us said that you still you all still remember just now I shared cut the nail because cut the nail is for the hygiene right so after cut the nail the parents tell the headmaster say both the child both the child means in TD is very good okay they say wow it's a good hygiene so from that time after Suji start starting to cut their nail so the school also apply this uh cut the nail check their appearance in the school you see go the hot or not I feel it's really it's that changes for them already. So not only this one, uh, for they can uh how to say, helping Suji to do something uh more for the explanation uh. And then after that, also you see when the teacher because sometimes the the student maybe I know I know I know but they really know or not maybe they don't know. <laughs> so the class the following teacher is can in the classroom we will share the content of things the present with the. Because they uh, interact with the children more than us, so they use the simply way to deplus their learning like this one. And then this one is the teacher because uh in we when we go to teaching things operator, we also need to teach them speak in Chinese one for the things operator like or we need to uh, from beginning we will say good morning in Chinese say but their shi 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 is like the, the pronounce is very wet one. But I, I try my best because I'm a Chinese teacher. I try my best to change their mouth, 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 uh, their pronounce. But they say, si gu, si bo. Then you go, oh no. And then one day, I feel very well, surprising. Why? We learn in Hindi word? No, no. Okay, let us go to see. Uh. This teacher is teach them. How to pronounce the word with um they use their yeah, in Hindi word right say ah oh, this pronoun is like this one okay maybe I use talk I use talking you all ah uh, how okay let us go to see ah. Uh. <laughs> Mm-hmm. 
मांगने से ที่เดี๋ยวเพิ่มเพิ่มเพิ่มไปออกโพนอะไรที่สักเดี๋ยวไปที่ดิสวันดิสวันดิสวันดิสวันดิสวันดิสวันดิสวันดิสวันดิส
didn't have chance to study because due to the money or some reason. So they say, I want them also same with me, also can come to study. Wow. When you see, when you listen to this kind of sharing, you will feel that very touching because they know how to love their children. <laughs> Yes, you see this from this uh sharing is uh so how so everyone learn this all the uh, moral things of reason say that hey, we need to do the good things like this. Uh, and then you see <laughs> This is the time I didn't share everyone my more because this one is here is the happiness face and then you can see through their face is very happiness like this because Indian people like to dancing singing like this so it can feel that after that they're learning they can have a lot of fun a lot of growth like this. and so um, for me is you see wow what is this the shoes this for me is the footprints of love follow the trace of Buddha um this is the one oh, the whole month, one day my shoes become like this. Why? Let us see. Because we uh because uh in city we everyone is a uh, Rowan and some may need to take photo to all everything. So one day I received a call said, You go to take photo. I said, Really? What to take? I said, Okay. For me, because everyone called me that I will say yes, I will not say no. Then so for me it's leave every step in Suji history because sister Lee said, What well, is the in front of the photo is this? I said, Oh no, is she still remember remember in front is the petty thing? So I because um then I go I go inside to take this photo. So you, you just now remember the children go on step with all the, the how to say the soil is on the shoes already. So my shoes is become like this one. But it's for least every step in Suji history, no matter how I just do it. And then uh, no matter how to say, Ran Bin also, we also go. You can see the route is not very good, but we, we, are, we are not saying, I don't want to go, don't want to go, because we already promised the school. One week, we go one side. This is the chance we go to uh, teach students. So although you see raining, but our, our how to say, our face full or smile like this one. So, okay, this is uh, before I come back to Malaysia. You see, they are so very happy. This one, if you all will listen, is uh, Chinese, Min uh, Minan Yi, uh, how to say, Hokkien song is very, very so fun, but everyone do recycling. Because that time we go, is bring the uh, team is do recycling. So, they, because when I, we want to go already, but they say, hey, Iru, Iru, come up, come, I say, what happened? Then I look like it's the Wang Hong, you know, look like YouTuber. They all say, come, 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 come. And they say, uh, the song you all just dancing is made by this uh, sister because we want to make them uh, if they go back to find master they can sing the actually we want to teach them in Hokkien but we want to uh, merge to their culture then I, we change to their uh, Hindi song so they are so happy say, oh, get you, get you. so wow, I feel that wow, they are so I, we just if I found the history I go to their school is just for two times like three times only but they so happily, I said, oh, okay, okay, can, 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 like this one. So the student is very cute. So for me, this uh, journey, this journey only, also the city journey, difficult to do, but doable. Like this, when we walk to the paddy field, it's very difficult when, because your leg is going inside, you, you, need, you need to walk slowly, carefully. If not, you will suddenly feel down and then the whole body is the soil. Although it's difficult to go, but um, we have the same path, same direction. We have the same direction is transformation the Indian. We all transform, uh, give, change the life for 
our uh, the all the people the whole world lah. Also typical, maybe got many challenge, many things. Never mind. We got Buddha. We got we follow what Master Chen Yan teach us on the religious scope. Because ah,、uh, in the Wu Liang Yi Jing said that keep your step firm, keep your walls, expand and purify the both land. So it's ah、uh, in Chinese, 坚定不凡，安住愿力，宽心佛佛。It's really if we feel that, ah yeah, ah yeah, I want to feel that already. Ah yeah, ah yeah, so very difficult. I go back. It, and many excuse is we give ourselves, but if we go, just go forward, then nothing is impossible because we are in we are. I am possible. So you will see, eh, where am I? Next here, here am I? It's very difficult, but also go to take the photo. So um. Uh, because still of the time lah, so stay tuned for the next episode of the story. Hope got one chance. Then next time I share more about other story. Or maybe if you want to know more, because every sometimes the teaching night prayer, I also go well goes deeply to sharing. Also put at the YouTube. So lastly is you see the photo in at here is very towers is very peaceful look like Hualien. I feel that lastly it's possible to overturn the both land. Yes, it's possible. Because needs you and me, need everyone to come together. This is the youth. Then in Chinese, say "chalo chalo" means everyone come 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 together. Needs everyone, uh, power, energetic. We can do so because we have the hope. So just do it. Any maybe you want to know more? Just go to scan here. You can know more about the Bogai land, uh, Nepal and Bogaya story. And then the lastly is. The most beautiful scenery can only be experienced by seeing it with your own eyes. The most touching chapter can only be moved by more practical experience. The most difficult life requires you, me, him to take over and turn it around. So hope you all enjoy today's sharing. So the last, the last link is 感恩 in Hindi word is 感谢哇 Hope you all enjoy and understand my sharing is very in kindergarten level. Thank you. Kindergarten level English, ma. But I think it's a very high level drama joy that we received today from、uh, Sister Iru. I think everybody enjoyed her bubbly presentation and was so sincere to share with us the footprints of hope and love in Bogaya. So nothing, nothing. Hard to do, but doable or not? Doable, ah.、Huh? I guess everybody now agrees because um, inch by inch, as what Sister Iru say, ah,、uh, and ma Master advised us. And as a group, in this relay of love, ah,、uh, as the first batch, ah,、uh, actually when I went there, I really felt like, wow, can or not? But seeing the progress just in in a few months, I say yes, definitely, because we are walking the path of the sutra. So can earn so much. We hope to see Sister Iru again to share with us, ah,、uh, more. And also you can scan. Ah,、uh, please share with us. Ah,、uh, the the QR code later on. We'll share the QR code to the chats so that we can actually continue to listen to Sister Iru's ah、uh, sharing online. Can earn two full and two full sister. I know sister aspire to be a long term. In Bodhgaya, and with today's ah、uh, ah、uh, uh, pure causes that sister plan, we actually ah、uh, two for sister to have the conditions ah、uh, to um serve ah、uh, long term in Bodhgaya. Okay, all right. So now we would like to move on to our next sharer, who is from、uh, Sydney, Philippines. Um, sister Lynette, yeah. Um, she has been a volunteer. She started very young、uh, as a volunteer at the age of sixteen,、uh, with Children International, and I think from there the seeds have been planted、uh, to become、uh, someone who can benefit the society. So that she, after that, she went on to become an NGO worker after attaining her degree in journalism, and、uh, currently Sister Lynette is a project officer with City Foundation Philippines. And also a member of Tsuji International Youth Association, and she is a very passionate, ah,、uh, climate advocate, animal advocate, and、uh, she is a vegetarian since twenty twelve, and has become a vegan four years later. And in fact, she even represented Tsuji, um, in the delegation of ah.、Uh, Cop twenty seven. So without further ado, let us welcome Sister Lynette from the Philippines. Anne, 
Sister Lynette, the platform is yours. Good morning, so brothers. Wait, 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 I will share my screen. Oops. Okay, we can see your slides now. Perhaps you can put it to slide mode. Yeah, all right, done. Good morning, brothers and sisters. So for today, I would like uh, to thank everyone for inviting me to this um, morning talk among volunteers from Malaysia. And um, when I was informed about this sharing, I was like thinking about the fitting title for, for this sharing because 10 years is a full circle for the Philippines to um, experience Haiyan in 2013. And um, I realized about I was like pondering about the journey that we all experience from providing relief to rebuilding towards healing self and then others as well. So I, I made this sharing like short, just a short <laughs> sharing. So uh, I'm, I'm actually not very, um, I'm very familiar about disasters happening in the Philippines. Um, if you look at this map above, a little above this region, this is where Haiyan made landfall in 2013. A little above the a little above this is my hometown. It's called Albay, and this is called the Gateway of Disasters, actually. So, but um in my young experience in disaster relief, I think it is the first time that I've seen the immense impact of how disaster can cause pain. Oops. <laughs> sorry. Can you help me, sister, to share? I'm sorry. Oops. Sister, can, can I ask for, for help in sharing the slides, please? Okay, you wait for a while. Huh? But, uh... Sister, uh, Wang Siu Ching has the slides, right? Yes, um, I stand okay. Yeah. Right. Sister Stephanie, if it's okay, I forward to you, to you, Ken. Uh, okay. Ken, it's, Ken, uh, Ken. It's a link. So know. while while we're doing the slide, sorry, this is my computer is not working. <laughs> okay. okay. Sister so can continue sharing while we try yeah. to get the slide. All right, Ken. Okay. So yeah. So um. So trajectories of compassion. So sometimes when we're helping others, we we actually don't realize how much of what we actually do benefits us as well. And yeah, as I said a while a while ago, personally I'm I'm familiar about disasters, but um with my young experience in disaster relief work, it's my first time to actually see the impact of disasters in Tacloban ten years ago in 2013. So uh, I was thinking if I was actually in another kind of job, I would have looked away. But back then, I was holding a camera and the lens of my camera forced me to see it. Yeah, because I was working as a... Um, back then, I was with Chuchi as a writer and photographer. So if, you, if we see the next slide, yeah, that, that's some of my photos from 10 years ago because... Um. yeah, working as a writer and photographer. So 2013 was actually my second year of working with Duty. And um, a month before Yolanda, we were still doing preliminary relief work in Bohol after a big earthquake. And we were not even wrapping up yet with the relief work when Typhoon Haiyan made landfall. So looking back, um, if we click the next slide, looking back, the relief's uh, efforts of Typhoon Haiyan was so big in scale. And in summary, I've listed here some of the efforts of Tuti in Leyte. So we did cash for work to clean up the debris around the city and also to revive the local economy. Then doctors flew in to conduct medical missions. And then we saw how houses, schools, and church were gone. So the repairs were also done. And then Taiwan's relief team also sent prefabricated units of classrooms and houses. And now currently, a permanent housing is on the way. So we're very 
um thankful for for all uh all countries who sent help for the typhoon victims and i think if there is one thing that needs to be highlighted it should be the love that a worldwide community of duty volunteers had offered. We've seen how donation drives were held in 46 countries and how much of this love uplifted the depressing situation of the people in Tacloban and other parts of Leyte after Haiyan. But uh, if, if we look at it, this is really already very grand. So there are a lot of help sent by, by Tuti. But um, if, if um, can, I, can I ask? To click the next slide, please. Thank you very much, sister. So there's a lot of help that Tuti gave, but there is one particular symbol that reminded the people of Tuti's love, and it's the blue and white uniform that the volunteers wear. And I remember uh, our CEO, Brother Henry, saying that if there is any, um, if 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 there is um like a city in the world where volunteers don't need to actually introduce what we do as volunteers, it would be Tacloban. Because one look at the uniform and they recognize us already. I think it, it also applies to some other parts of uh, of the world. Like, yeah, like in Malaysia, there may be other, um, the sharing of Sister Iru a while ago. So if, if the students see the uniforms, they would actually recognize what you do as volunteers. So for the 10th year of um, anniversary of Haiyan, our event was in honoring the resiliency of the people of Leyte. And we hold these trajectories of compassion that Tutis love brought in. And for a start, we wanted to look back to the stories that people remember, not so much on the tragedy, but the lessons, their resiliency, their hope, and faith. Yeah, so in honor of resiliency, we actually translated um, the title to their vernacular language. So, in honor of resiliency is Pasidungoghan Kabaskog in um, Waray, in their language. And actually, as expected, the, the, uh, the picture of tragedy was still vivid in their handwritten letters. So we gathered a total of 90 handwritten stories 10 years after Yolanda and we're very good. We're grateful for the people um, for participating in sending their stories to us. So there, there are like samples of the letters we gathered in the next slide. Yeah, so there are gems like this within their stories, like how Tuti became a symbol of direction when they were all downhearted. And most of them wrote it in their vernacular language and we tried translating them. So allow me to read this highlighted text. People were downcast and didn't know how to go back up again. But when Tuti came, we regained sense of direction. So that's from Michael Arcosiba Aguero. And then another, why was I full of hope? Because I believe that despite the tragedy, God will send an instrument to strengthen our hearts and mind. And in the next slide. So this is actually a letter that's very long. And the, the, the writings are very small as well. Very long and then very small. So he squeezed it in, in a small pad paper. And he said, my problems were big after Haiyan. Where do we live now that our house was gone? But while there were only a few organizations coming to send help, it was at that time when Tuti arrived. And then I prayed hard for somebody to help us. I was overjoyed because Tuti came to give us emergency cash assistance. I will never forget their help to victims of big disasters like Haiyan. Yes. So that's just some of the of the stories we recalled. And I think if we browse through the pictures, you may be able to actually see yourself as well because Malaysia is among the countries that came to join our relief mission. So there are volunteers who um went to the Philipp came to the Philippines and and then joined our relief efforts in Tacloban. So for me this is heartwarming because we don't really ask for remembrance. Master Cheng Yen often 
talked about doing things with pure intentions. And I think the people of Tacloban felt this pure intention. So um, actually, I, I want to say that you are part of what they remember when they want to seek hope in those dark times 10 years ago. And here in this photo, you can see a comparison of a Catholic church in Tacloban City. This is the Santo Nino Church. And back then, it served as an evacuation center before the storm surge hit the shorelines of Tacloban. This church was destroyed, but Tutti offered to renovate it. And the renovation was completed in December 2014. And the parishioners started coming to church again. So in remembrance of this interfaith collaboration between Tutti being a Buddhist organization and the Catholic, we initiated to have a mass here. So last week, as we remember the 10th year of Haiyan in the Philippines, um, one of our events is to hold a mass in this church. And we're very glad. If you click the next slide, sister, please. Yeah, so this is a marker that they unveiled during the Mass. And it says here that it is their enduring, it is an enduring testimony of the gratitude of the faithful. So Father Father Kelvin Apurillo actually said, the church is where God resides, thus it is where love resides. And the renovation of the church was important so that love can live well. Every temple is a symbol of hope. That's that's a very beautiful line from his homily. So we gathered, I think we gathered um more than 1,200 people. Um, you can see it in the next slide. Yeah, so a Buddhist organization joining a, a Catholic mass. And there there's um it is well attended. There are 1,281 plus volunteers during the Mass. And among this crowd are people who were once part of Tutti's Relief Missions. And some of them still keep what we gave them as remembrance. So you can see it in the next slide. So there are actually mixed emotions because we played videos during... Uh, after the Mass, we, we held a short program to like... Um, just a gathering after 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 the mass, we showed a video commemorating or remembering uh, what a journey it has been for all of us. And here, some families um showed us their tutti blanket th that they received um during the relief missions, the angpa or the red packet, and then the invitational tickets um that we gave out for the prayer vigils, and then even the cash cards were still um we're still being kept by the family. So it's like 10 years ago, some 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 people, they would just throw all those tickets, the cash cards, because it's now empty. It's it's not usable anymore, but still they keep it with them. So it's it's like, wow, they, they remember Titi so much and they appreciate um, this kind of help that, they, that we gave them. And our volunteers were actually able to um find some of the people um that we that we helped 10 years ago so in the next slide you can see um a story which i wrote for to tea this is mr adriano Carubin. and 10 years ago uh, i wrote about his story um wherein he used their cash assistance to sell goods so they can revive their livelihood. And from their income, from their rolling store, because he called it 2T Rolling Store, because he received 12000 and then he used it to start start his rolling store. And then the income from the, the store, he bought it, uh, he bought supplies to rebuild their simple house. So this is a photo from above is a photo from 10 years ago and then um 10 years after they continue to have that or the original parts of their makeshift store but they upgraded it from a bicycle to a motorcycle so they can continue having their food tent now it's a food tent back then it was like um he was selling all kinds of different kinds of uh, plastic wares and basic necessities like more on plastic side 
but now uh, they they have their food tent and next slide so yeah so through the years there have been a lot of programs that follow the relief missions and part of it was providing scholarship so part of Juchi's relief principle was never to leave a disaster site until they got back on their feet. And currently, we have local volunteers in the area and also this scholarship. Now, so Juchi Philippines has been supporting scholars so, so that in the future, they can lift their families out of poverty as well. And here, Trixie is one of the scholars of Juchi in Leyte. So she lives at the Chuchi Great Love Village because we we established um a temporary housing for them. And now uh, the same area is where the permanent housing is being built. So Trixie May Masoko is part of the fam families living in that area. And she is now in um college studying BS forestry. So uh, three more years and she will graduate and then find a job and help her family as well. So um, she was taking a photo of her old uh, eight years old self because during um, a week uh, um, during the set, the occasion um, we held we also held an exhibit a photo exhibit photo and video exhibit and so it was a two day exhibit and then if you uh, if you can see in the next slide. During the two-day photo exhibit, it was amazing to see how people remember Chuchi. And they they were all coming up to donate. And what's even more amazing is many of them were not even part of Chuchi's relief assistance. Maybe they were they were like um they either went to um another town to seek help or to seek safety. But back then, they, they were not part of Chuchi's Relief Assistance, but now they were coming up to donate. And they would come and say, thank you, I know what you did for Tacloban. And that's very heartwarming for us. And so for me, this speaks so much about a city healing from the scars of Haiyan. And because we touch their hearts, they want to touch the lives of others too. Yeah. So... For the final slides, I just want to relate to you that to be a bodhisattva who inspires others, you don't just do everything by yourself. It is impossible for one person to accomplish all the things in the world. But if you hold another person's hands, touching more lives becomes lighter. Thank you, everyone. And Anna, so much, uh, Sister Lynette, for the very touching sharing that uh, helped us recall um, this 10-year anniversary of uh, the typhoon and uh, how the love and care of uh, Tsuti or the blue and white angels yeah, uh, has transformed the cities that were involved or were hit by the tragedy. And uh, truly, I believe uh, in the whole process I think very rightly, sisters say, in this 10th year anniversary, um, honoring the resiliency is where we can re learn all the lessons instead of recalling the tragedy. I believe last, um, I think a few weeks ago, Master the Huang said, nah, if we focus on the hurt, then we suffer, right? But we must focus on the lessons. And that is how we can all grow. Um, actually, sister, you still have uh, there are still seven minutes to your time. Maybe we can invite uh, brothers or sisters on the platform who would like to ask sister Lynette any question or have any comments that they would like to share with sister Lynette. Anyone? So like what we have seen in Bodhgaya, because uh, Bodhgaya, the first, uh, uh, the, uh, we first started uh, early this year, you know, sometime in March. And now it's uh, November. 
So within this a few months, yeah, we see the transformation. Uh, surely step by step. And but in uh in the cities or Takoban or Mok and all that, it's been 10 years, right? And we see how the little seeds that are planted has grown into big trees, bearing more and more seeds, which is just exactly like uh uh what we say, like the sutra is the path, and the path is uh uh, a road that all of us are walking on and we cannot do this alone. Uh, we need to uh, gather everybody's hands, unite everybody's strength uh, in this uh, great relay of love. So, Sister Lynette, um, um, may I just ask, um, Sister, yeah, uh, because uh, you were a young girl with an aspiration, uh, you were 16 at that time, and today uh, you are a young adult. <laughs> um Maybe just uh, may I just uh, ask sister yeah throughout this process uh, what was the greatest lesson that you have learned personally as a young person because uh, to uh, in this era master says we really need uh, the uh, the the collaborative effort with all the young people they are our future maybe sister Lina can share a few words with us what is the greatest lesson for you yeah actually there are a lot of lessons every day I am learning through to tea. And when I entered Juchi, I was not 16. <laughs> I already hmm. graduated college. And um, back then, uh, everything's, everything feels new. Because, for example, um, when I entered Juchi, I've seen how they humbly bow to a recipient. For example, when doing a fire relief mission or a disaster relief mission, Juchi volunteers bow to a recipient. And... And that's one lesson that I got. Like um, the experience of giving is actually beneficial to both sides, both sides, both the, the recipient and the um, and the giver. So Tuti volunteers are are, are uh, I've seen them as like amazing people because they give um they give their time, their donation, and also their stories for the beneficiaries. And it's um we are all learning daily. And uh, for example, you think now you are you are like um you feel downhearted, like you're depressed or something. When you go to Chuchi, the perspective changes. And that's one thing that I feel um I uh that is precious for me as a Tuti volunteer. That's truly amazing because that means uh does it mean that actually like what sister said just now when you step into Tuti, yeah, you see these things and then you take it in, you internalize it, and you start to rationalize and you think that the lessons learned and your perspective changes. And would you say that this is because your consciousness or your wisdom has grown? Yes, every day the wisdom grows. Um, every day. Lot, yeah. There are a lot to learn. And uh, like the lessons today, um, you think that it's already enough, but then you wake up tomorrow, you attend an activity, you join an activity of Chuchi, and then another wisdom adds up to that. And it's like a layer of wisdom adding up day by day. And it's... Yeah, surely. Yeah. <laughs> I think it really resonates with what Master said this morning uh, in uh, the Wisdom at Dawn. Uh, with every experience, the wisdom will grow. Um, yeah, with every bit of experience, the wisdom will grow. So we are very grateful uh, to have Sister Lynette Brondayo to bring us back um, in to bring us back uh, uh, to the Typhoon Haiyan uh, but, and all the lessons that uh, we have learned in this uh, path of love uh, and compassion and of course of wisdom. So we look forward to having Sister Lina again uh, in the future. Thank you so much. I think before we let Sister Lina go, uh, um, because Sister uh, Iru has has to go to Ting Si Hall, can we take a group picture with you first, Sister Lina? Maybe yes, because, yeah, so that we can uh, also capture this moment, yeah, a memorable moment. Okay, can we all switch on our uh, video if it's convenient? I see Sister Wunki, our next sharer. <laughs> okay, um, Sister Boy, Sister Siva Mani, if it's convenient, Brother Joshua, everybody, can we switch on our video so that we can capture the photo for today? All right.
So maybe Sister Effie can help us take the picture. Taken ready. Okay. Okay. Can earn. Can earn Sister Effie and can earn Sister Lina. All right. So moving on. Moving on. I am very, very honored yeah, to introduce uh, the next sharer. Because when I saw uh, <laughs> Sister Wonki is sharing, I was so, so happy because to see her again. Um, because to me, uh, Sister Wonki is somebody that I look up to. She's a role model. Our affinity goes back to the time that uh, I joined the uh, refugee school activity. And uh, after uh, one of their, because I was the host yeah, for a lot of their graduation. And now uh, at one time, the last graduation that I hosted, I think was 2018. And I saw a great transformation that I found inconceivable. I felt like I was at, it was like a international school graduation. And I said, what happened here? And Sister Wunki, I grasped the opportunity to meet up with Sister Wunki so that I can learn from her. And truly, I found that she's a great leader, uh, somebody with a deep sense of responsibility. Uh, despite all the challenges that she had, she served selflessly. So I was very, very grateful to see Sister Wunki again on the platform today. So without further ado, let us invite Sister Wunki to share her education uh, hope project in Bodh Gaya. Can I Sister Wunki, or Madam, I should call you Madam, welcome. <laughs> From our days of refugee school, Madam. Uh, Madam, uh, Sister, uh, please switch on your mic. Yeah. Microphone, yeah. Can I Hey. Okay. How? Okay. Mm -hmm. One minute, uh, give me to uh, put on the... That's like, huh? Share. Okay. Oh. Yeah, we can see your slides. Yeah, nah. All right. right. Um, well, this is not the first one. All right. So, a very good morning to all the global Suchi brothers and sisters. I am Tan Winki from Malaysia, uh, from KL Slang or Education Unit. So, Today, I'm grateful to be uh, given the chance to share on the topic, Education Hope Project in Bodh Gaya. So, um, a little bit about my education background. Actually, I was a teacher and a senior assistant in government Chinese primary school for 34 years. Then I retired, early retirement. I was then appointed as a vice principal in a private school for three years, eight months. So... After that, I feel that I think I have enough of you no know, school education. So I went to volunteer as Suji coordinator at Harmony Alternative Learning Center for six years. That's the refugee school uh, Sister Stephanie mentioned just now. All right. So let me begin the story. So in early July this year, I received a faraway call uh, from to, for me to join Port Gaia Education Mission. So the duration is for three weeks. But at the beginning, I hesitated because uh, I have some family commitment. My mom is a CA patient and uh, other ailments, and I need, we need to go to hospital quite frequently. Furthermore, I myself, I'm a diabetic who is on insulin and uh, on medication. So, challenge, right? So after much consideration, um, I finally took up the challenge. Why? Because my sister, she is able, I think she's willing, she's able to take care of my mom during the, my absence. And I strongly have faith in myself, I can handle my health problem. So there you are. I remember Master's three important words, faith, wow, and action. If you have faith in yourself, you make a wow 
I want to make a vow to not continue education contribution in overseas. So there I go, action then. I started my education journey on the 24th. So there you are, you can see the education team. It's here. So um sorry, let me make my counter. So the three education members are attended. Uh, we, we, we go together. So this education team is headed by Sister Lee and then myself and Sister Yiru, uh, the sharer just now. So three of us go. And then there are two uh, volunteers as well. All right. So when I reached Bodhgaya, I realized that you no know, humanistic learning in this education project covers a big scale, very big indeed. So let's look at the objective. The objective is to inculcate humanistic spirit of self-love and love for others. So our targeted groups are local volunteers, school children, teachers, principals. So the children, the children are age, we focus on those who are age um, 10 to 15, even 16 years old. And their learning level different. They are different. So for schools, we enter at that time nine schools. So they are government school, private school, and NGO school. So the activities carry on covers humanistic lesson, which is from Monday to Saturday, except on Friday. Then we have local volunteers training, we have local teachers training, we have book sharing session, and we have community happy hour. And other ad hoc opportunities. This one you will come to know what is it uh, later on. So let's have a look at our daily schedule. Well, Monday to Saturday, we start at eight o'clock in the morning and we end at you no know, uh ends at um five thirty if we have uh happy hour activities on. So for this matter, I want to touch on. We hope that the local volunteers or the teachers who have attended the local volunteer training or the book sharing session, we hope that they will, they will be able to attain humanistic. Uh, they have, uh, they are able to, for humanistic attainment and they can become a better teacher or a better person. So that is the whole purpose. All right. So looking at it, I think everybody can agree that this is a very busy schedule for everyone. So the for the local volunteers, they only have three days uh, ending the, the, the day at 5.30. The rest of the three days, they end their activities at 3 p.m. So we don't want to overtax them. But the education volunteers work still on until at night. We need to discuss planning for activities. We need to review activities that has been on. So no easy job, right? I was a little bit overwhelmed in the first week because I haven't experienced before I need to carry out so many activities in so little a time. Okay. Right, so let me introduce you all to the Boot Gaia education team. So from here, we can never get you know, all of us in the same screen because we are all divided up. So uh, here, are, here they are. Uh, just now I've already said, I headed our, by our sister uh, Li Jia Ching and our brother, uh, sister Yuru. And then on the second week, on the 10th day, Sister GT joined us. Thank God. Because we are really overworked, short of stuff. All right. So, the responsibilities of the education team is to plan activities, to guide, and to train the local volunteers. That is why, you know, in the first week, uh, education volunteers will go in. 
and then uh, they were the local volunteers were observed, but but gradually we uh, uh, pass on part of the job, you no, know, to them like you no know, conducting the greetings part or conducting the activities part. So they are being trained gradually. And now I would like to introduce you officially to the three local volunteers here. So they, they are our brother Deepak, who is the seated uh, local volunteer here. Then followed by our teacher, Rosie. She has some teaching experience. And then, uh, but she, is, she was on a um, uh, degree on education. So she was on leave quite often. Then next come to our teacher, Alia, who is very fresh. She just graduated from secondary school and needs a lot of training, teaching, and guidance. Right. I would like to especially focus on our teacher, uh, our brother Deepak. He is a very important person because he connects us, connects Suchi with outside, like no school heads, uh, local authorities, so that our activities can run very smoothly. So without him, I think we are in big trouble. And uh, we have good working relationship with each other. All right, next, our teacher Rosie, uh, Rosie, she is on 10 days exam leave during my, my, my stay there. So uh, I'm very grateful to her. She tried to pass on whatever knowledge, experience she has to the junior. So it's senior guiding the junior. This is what we want. Of course, bonding time comes when we have home visit to all the local volunteers' house. So we want to create close rapport with the family and we know about their family background so that we can work together even better. All right, now comes the real part, humanistic lesson in school. So we went to night school, as I have said before, and then the team who went into the schools, this is the biggest, quite big like the team, is divided into two. Why? Because we conducted two classes at the same time in one school. And all the classes, all the lessons, master lessons are conducted in the morning. So we, in humanistic lesson in schools, we conducted the three steps three steps humanistic lesson. No, unlike the Taiwan, Taiwanese, Taiwan in Taiwan or in Malaysia, we conducted the five steps. Huh? So we start with uh, greetings. We start with greetings. So greetings must be done in two languages. Okay. So English and Mandarin. That is why Mandarin speaking is so very important. So to us, proper greeting is important and it must be uniform in all schools. So we start with uh, An,师父早安,师父早安. And before ending, we can earn, can earn Laoshi, can earn Shifu, can earn Shifu. So this is no small matter, I tell you, just like what uh, Sister Yu. Uh, share just now, it's, it's difficult because you no know, Mandarin, we have four tones. Wrong tone, wrong voice, and then can come to wrong message. So, Zhao An can be Zhao An, Si Gu can be Si Gu. My God, I think if they ever have a chance to, to, to see Master and they speaking Mandarin like this, then our Master will say, What can I do? Really, so we are we 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 we. That is why we conduct classes hmm, for the local volunteers. All right. So, the first part, the first step in uh, humanistic learning is ice breaking. So, in ice breaking, other than the greetings, then we will have um hygiene checking, hygiene checking, checking their nails, checking their hair, checking their uniform. 
if we have time. Uh, the time allocated for ice breaking is only 10 minutes. Very little time. So we will see what we can do. And then we will have uh, uh, get some students to stand up to share with us what was the Jingxi aporism taught last week. So she needs to uh, stand up and speak in English. English. Huh? What is the Jingxi aporism? And maybe if she is capable, she's able, we would like her to share what she has learned from the Jingxi aporism. Right? So next, the step two will be the... Um, experience activities. So we use all means and way to carry out our lessons. We can either use videos, you know, and then um, they don't have projector. So we have to use the recycle laptops to carry out this humanistic lesson. So this is to attract the attention. Then of course, like what uh, sister you would say, we have dramas. So the teacher will coach the students to act in the drama according to the team we had that day. So in this instance, it is doing, doing good deeds. The team is good deeds. So the students are, are teach to put up a drama show to show the team. So the Jingxia Parism is uh, counting in when doing good things and counting out and doing bad deeds, bad deeds, sorry, bad deeds. Huh? So this is far more uh, interesting than just talking and talking. And uh, for the last part, for the life practice, we will need the student. Life practice means homework. Huh? So we would like to see they all copy down the Jinxi aporism of the day and then they need to do some homework. Homework, it can be like, you know, you write down what you what you have done for the past week, what good deeds you have done for the past week, record down, then we will check. And then it can also be like doing experiment for the echo bricks. Uh, we cannot do it uh, in a 40 minutes to manage the lesson. So they need to take back home and then complete the echo break so that we can join up together to become echo chair so right next i think this vocal local volunteer training is absolutely necessary and very important because we hope to pass on the uh, experience you know to them fast so first of all they must know how to prepare lesson plan of course, at the beginning, you no, know, we discuss and then uh, they they uh, we we do the lesson plan first. But later on, they are supposed to do their own lesson plan, and they need to key in into the uh, template even. So there you are. We are busily preparing. Luckily for us, we only we have one uniform lesson plan, meaning for the whole week, everybody sharing the same lesson plan plan. That is to know not so overtired and so confusing about it. So the second training they need is the computer training. Why? Because we, the, the local volunteers need to know how to operate the computer and know how to set up the projector so that lessons can carry out you know, smoothly. So we always think of, we cannot do all. You no know, education volunteers cannot do all. They must do. So they are being trained. So this one also is very important. And then, like Sister G, Yuru said just now, Mandarin speaking is important. Just now I told you, isn't it? So if they cannot you know, pronounce simple words like 老师, 早安, 师父, 师伯, but no. We don't really emphasize too much on the writing part. Huh? But it's just you not know, to let them know how is the writing part like. So other than that, drama and songs need to be learned. Songs with sign language. Why? Because drama must be included in the activities. And then when we go to villages for happy hours, 
well. They definitely have to put on a drama to attract the children and then sing sign language song. So now, you know, it's not easy to become the local volunteers. But we are really appreciate and grateful for them to you know, continue to be one of us. The local teaching training started on, on the 4th of August. That is on the second week. After one week, we went to the classes, went to the schools. Um, I finally um, decided that I want to touch on classroom management uh, for the training. Only one section now. This is in charge by me. So... Uh, first of all, I think uh, I, I would tell them learning corners in the classroom is very important. They can be you no know, uh, English language corner, can be Jinxi aphorism corner, can be a uh, student's uh, report or, or uh, student's uh, work. It can be all exhibited there, depending on how much space they have. So we also have, of course, recycle corner where students know where to put their rubbish, uh, whether the rubbish is the recycle rubbish or the non-recycle rubbish. So to me, another corner is important. This is the class duty roster because we would like to, to involve all the students to be responsible for the class cleanliness. So this is, I would say, uh, very important. And then everyone plays a role, whether you do the sweeping or you do the, 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 the wiping of the whatever things. So everybody has a shape, plays a part in that. So in the, in the training, I also emphasize on discipline management. Discipline is important. If teachers cannot control the discipline of the class, how can effective learning and teaching carry on. And of course, I give them some points and pointers how to become an effective teacher. So for one instance, I think bonding between the children and the teacher is very important. Without bonding, the teacher cannot carry out her lesson or his lesson you know, effectively. So that is why I told I, 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 we gave them a sample of the gratitude card to be given to students who show effort in academic. That means they are passing up their homework. Their homework is good or in attitude. To me, attitude is even more important. If the student is hardworking, the teacher show, uh, see improvement or the student is very grateful, I think gratitude card should be given to him or her. So after the training, we have group discussion. There I found out from teachers, they think they are very receptive uh, to the training and they think the contents are beneficial and practical. Now, this is another cultural sound. Just now already uh, mentioned by our sister Yiru, but now, of course, now you know this song is from Taiwan, Hokkien, in Hokkien. So this song is the number one hit song in Bodhgaya. Every time we have activities, everywhere we go, we sing the song. So brothers and sisters, if you have intention to go to Bodhgaya, learn the song. And also, to let you know, this is the first time I learned a complete Hindi song. Because I've been singing so many times. Every time I go to school, uh, every time I go to happy hour, well, I sing the song. Now, let's uh, take a look and listen to the... Hey, did I, I think I forgot to share my voice. Huh? Uh, hold on, give me one minute. Share my voice. Hmm. All right. Come, let's listen to the song. Very short song, very simple song, but very... Wonderful. 
So this song, it instilled recycling concept, you now calling for everybody to do this recycling. Of course, I'm sure that the, the, the Malaysian and the Taiwanese uh, Suchi brothers and sisters remember the songs, isn't it? Uh, everyone do recycling. Punso, punso, o peko. Right? All right. So I wonder whether you all um so I was amused no I saw this uh, our our HM you no know, no feeling so embarrassed and uh, don't know what to do you no know, very awkward you no know, when he was wanted to do the song to sing the song to do the sign language I think this must be the first time he performed a song with sign language in front of his teachers and in front of all the volunteers Amusing, right? Oh, sorry. Sorry. Okay. So now, uh, we have, let me introduce you to the happy hour at Bakro Colony. In detail. Uh, in detail. So, this one, the happy hour, uh, we have it, I think, uh, if I'm not mistaken, two times a week. Two times a week in the afternoon. From 3 o'clock, sorry, from 4 to uh, from three to five, four sorry, four to five thirty. Because afternoon the weather in Bogaya is very warm, so we have to do it slightly later. Because sometimes you see we conduct the happy hour indoor or outdoor, depending on the number of participants uh, or whether the weather is it raining, raining then definitely inside this enclosed a small temple. Right. So, what are the activities? What is the purpose of having this happy hour? Yes. So, we would like to engage children and parents in meaningful recreational activities. For the children, we emphasize on their hygiene. So, the first thing we do is to clip their nails. So, we brought more than 10 nail clippers. And... Uh, other than the volunteers, local volunteers or education volunteers trying to clip their nails for them, we will get the bigger children to help the smaller children to clip. So we would like to, as far as possible, clip nails for everyone. Now, come to tying hair. This is an important part, right? You look at this girl with the hair not tied up and then uh, the hair is very messy. So we started tie their hair. Look at her. She looks so pretty and so happy after tying her hair. For your information, on that day, I tied hair for seven girls. Girls really like their hair to be tied because they look more beautiful. All right. So, concerning about the recreational activities, so that's it. We are doing sign language song. We are playing simple games so that the children enjoy. Okay? So, other than that, we are trying to instill bamboo band spirit among the school children and the villagers. So, we would like to let them know giving is not the privilege of the rich, but it's the privilege of the sincere. So the children here, they may not have money to donate, but they told us they want to donate their love. That is touching to me. That is touching. The seeds are already sown in their heart, you know, to be able to give. So other than that, of course, we are emphasizing on environment and environmental protection. So we tell them not to throw rubbish everywhere and then at the end of the of the happy hour session we will call them let them collect rubbish around the village and then throw in 
proper place. All right, that's the activities we do during happy hours. Now come to this very important part. So we have book sharing and demo session. Well, I'm supposed to lead. I'm supposed to start the ball rolling on this part. And this part is important because we hope to um, uh, share Dharma with them, right? Master's Dharma. So I arrange the pictures in order because I start with the book, Mirror of the Heart. So by end of first week, I was only given the books two days before. So I try to book smart. Lah. So I chose a topic on life is like a train ride. So I share the life philosophy with the volunteers. And then uh, it's easy to understand. Next, come to the stories told by master. So this one is in video form. So uh, we hope the, 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 the local volunteers, the teachers who join us, all are welcome, you know, even teachers are welcome during this book sharing session. And surprisingly, I tell you, there are teachers who came and joined us. So we would like them to bring back the story and pass the Dharma to their school children. You no, know, like uh, I chose the part on the story on handful of rice. Right, so this is a very common one. Just now, I told you about the Jinxi aphorism. That's it. So we we want to tell them. Everyone can do good deeds. The children also can do good deeds. So we by donating a little bit of their rice, they are able to help those poor and the needy. All right. Now come to the book on. Great love and mercy. So this book is pretty thick and the chapters are pretty long. But of course, uh, I get prepared. I want to share the book. But before I can share, one of the Sunani school teacher stood up and he said he wanted to share. Well, I said, welcome. You are welcome to do so. So he told us he read the book, the chapter, three times because their English level is not so good. Three times to understand what is being conveyed. So of course, other after her share, his sharing, we uh, give opinions, you know, uh, give suggestions, and then correct a little bit here and there. Then he learn. And surprisingly, well, this is really... Surprise me, the teacher delivered the same lesson to their student the next day. Amazing, isn't it? So we can see the passion and the eagerness to learn and to pass on knowledge and pass on Dharma in school. Of course, last but not least is the life wisdom where we have it every day. And then everybody needs to share, like it or not, want it or not, can or not, right? So I think from this book sharing and demo session, everybody read the books, hear the Dharma from Master, I'm sure it will enrich their heart and their mind. So in Chinese, we say, Ping Su Wen Fa Geng Xin Tian. So Dharma is being passed on. Uh, indirectly. So actually, I don't think they know they are passing on Dharma, you know, but they are doing it. So talking so much about Sunani School, let me introduce Sunani School, who is, which is the top seeded school in Budgaya. So this school is headed by our um, Ranji Manji, a master, and then look at the outlook. I think it has a very humble outlook, right? Because this is their NGO school. The government don't bother. So the land doesn't belong to them. Suchi also cannot help to build. 
So you see, are there very few small classroom and plus with the makeshift classroom outside the classroom. I think if I'm not mistaken, there are four makeshift classroom there. Yet students are, are, are well disciplined and they listen and the lesson is carried on smoothly. Amazing. I salute the teachers. All right. So you see, all these teachers, this, there are three seated teachers here. Huh? This teacher, nah, they receive the books, uh, Mirror of the Heart and the uh, Master of Great Love and Mercy from us before that. That is why they are able to join us for the book sharing. So after receiving the two recycled laptops from us, well, our HM is overjoyed. So he orders, he orders all the see the teachers go now, go for the humanity lesson using whatever you have learned and whatever is being provided. Because we also provide them with video, um, uh, video what? Uh, not video, not really video. We have the 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 the. the the, 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 the source, uh, you can click in and it can get whatever video you want. So there, you see the whole school is participating. The teachers, the HM, is, they are there. So from here, I think we can see how eager they want to learn, how eager they want to improve, and how eager they want to change. So, of course, they do it in, uh, in, 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 in Hindi using Hindi, but we understand because this is what we have not, not trained them. So after that, we have no discussion with uh, this teacher, Komlesh. I, I mentioned him uh, especially because we can communicate quite well because he speaks uh, quite good English. So we, we will then discuss what's the further, what is the next activities Suchi can work together with the school. Right, you will see that later. Next, there you are. So, on one day during the happy hour, not long after our discussion, I think about two three days only. So, we have drama at Bakro Colony. So, this is a joint combined effort between Tsunami School and Suji uh, Education Team. So they are playing on two dramas all by the one. The first one is the on the team, do not throw rubbish. You see, so I don't I, I cannot I don't have time to go into detail. So this, of course, our focus is on the children because the children in the village love to throw their sweet wrappers everywhere. You can see. So we hope to uh, give them awareness that throwing rubbish. Is bad for environmental protection. The second one, this is the one we the, the major one, the major one. This one, the team is on effects of alcoholism. It is a common practice in Bogaya that men, women, especially men, they drink, drink heavily. So the HM has this idea, you no, know, he wants to. We hope to change, eradicate the bad habit. So, please have a look at this one. These are the spectators. These, these people are the, our main focus because the children may not understand well. But these ladies, this housewife, they, how would I say, they are fully engrossed while watching the drama. Why? Because this is real life happening in the village, in their family, where sometimes it can lead to domestic violence, which will destroy the family. And the woman, the housewife, the children are the victims. So, the most touching part for me is when I saw our HM 
suddenly come out and play a role. You no, know, when the scene begins with, uh, began began with uh, a girl was crying because the father died due to over alcoholism. So the headmaster came in and said, "Please don't cry, don't cry. I will take care of your education." It really touches me because why? Later on, I find out, wow, our Hesham really, he adopted 10 children for education and he sponsored their education until they could complete their secondary second uh, education. And I heard some of them came back to the school to teach. So very touching, isn't it? So I think maybe, yeah, I'm not sure I didn't confirm. Maybe the Cedar teachers are the one he sponsored. So the team trend, uh, the Jinxi aphorism for these two drama is count me in when doing good deeds, count me out when doing bad deeds. So we really hope that you no, know, uh we are able to try. In fact, I think this is the HM's hope and wish to transform religious old habit of drinking, making the impossible possible. Great job. I'm sure in times to come, he will succeed. All right, now come to a very light moment. So, uh, so I would like to introduce you to a song sang by Sanani school teachers, headmaster, and the school children. So, okay. Yes, this is a very simple song to go through the year. I love my car. The tsunami is cool. I love my car. Very limited resources. That is why Suchi care and love them. Because they love themselves. First of all, they love themselves. So from here, we can see that great love is circulating in the school. And all the Sunani teachers and uh, HM and students, they appreciate the love from Suchi. <laughs> All right. Of course, you not know, doing education in Bodh Gaya is full of challenges. And uh, we need, we are ready, ready to overcome them. So we must always have a plan B ready. So, and another thing, sometimes you don't know what will happen when we enter the school or enter the class. So we must be adapted to changing circumstances. We are must be ready to take the Okay? So the first challenge, the congested classroom. You see this classroom just now, huh? as was introduced. So congested, the students eat, sleep, and study there. So this classroom is the smallest classroom I've ever seen. So small. But you look at their face, I think I was so touched. The eagerness is there. It's shown how they are eager to learn. So. We have to solve that problem. How to solve? So we adapt. We utilize whatever space which are being given and we modify the activities. Space small, so drama, less people. Right? So this is it. This, this is it. But we, we can't tell what is going to happen. No. But we will do it. Huh? We will do it. So next, is the difference in level, difference in level among the school children. To tell you the truth, some can understand English, some totally alien to English. 
So what are we gonna do? So we cannot speak too much, right? Because we conduct the lesson in English, then the local volunteers will you know translate them into Hindi. So we try as much as possible to use activities like you no know, showing videos using our two recycled laptops. Huh? There. And then of course, uh, we will also then later, later on, before we left, we leave. So we receive a projector. Well, good. Good then. So we are able to show them videos more clearly. And the teaching is more effective. Okay? Now, the third challenge. Students unable or unwilling to complete life practice, their homework. Really, 50% of them will be checked their homework, not done. So what are we going to do? So we get volunteers from Malaysia to bring in the chops. These chops, huh? anybody who has completed their homework, good or bad, right or wrong, we give them a chop for reinforcement. Truly, it works. You know, the next time we went in, more people completed their homework. Okay, the last one, limited time. So, you have watched you know, our daily schedule. The time is so packed. So sometimes in order to maximize the time there, we have discussion at the roadside. You see, we are doing discussion and revising the humanistic lesson carry on. We even have it inside the tutu when on the way back. So little time, 10 minutes, 15 minutes is good enough for us. And of course, I also drag in our HM and the Tsunami school teacher you know, to sit with me. Actually, they are not really willing to sit, you know, but I want them to sit with me because I want to discuss with me, with, with them. I want to build up rapport with this uh, school, uh, HM and the, 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 the teacher so that we can discuss further things that we are going to do. Now, for three weeks in Bodhgaya, yeah, of course, there are a lot of touching incidents. But the first one, would I would say, is the care and love via food from the volunteers. So food in, is important, right? So in Bodhgaya, yeah, we need to uh, uh, supply ourselves or get ready our own breakfast. But for lunch, usually is cooked by the Hotels cook, huh? so it's uh, because everybody will be busy going out, you know, for activities. But come to dinner time, so our volunteers are supposed to share out the cooking because we are yearning for home cooked food. So, but when I saw the 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 the, the, the schedule, you know, who is to be in charge to take turn, I also got shocked. We came back at six about reach the hotel at six how are we going to have the dinner cook the dinner and this dinner is for, for I think 30 to 40 packs no joke but to tell you the truth we cook the dinner inside the hotel room the room enclosed hotel room with very limited uh, utensils cooking utensils so actually um very caring and thoughtful of them. They exempted the education team. We just need to wash up later on after the dinner and clean up the kitchen. That's all. So what is most touching is when our sisters from charity mission or from uh, from the charity and the uh, what do you call it? Uh, Another mission, uh, charity and, uh, sorry, 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 what is that? Medical, medical, uh, medical team. When they hear of anybody having cough, having sore throat, they quickly dish up some herbs for them. So very touching, Gan Eun sisters. So the next one, the touching episode is on the Zoom meeting between Sanani School and Harmony School. Well, Sanani School was my present school when I was in Bukaya. I went there very often. I know about them. 
And Harmony School was my previous school. So when I, I was in a Suchi coordinator for how many years? Six years in Harmony. And these are the group of students I know also. I know them during the Zoom class. So it, I feel so heartwarming when I see that it can be arranged, you know, for the two schools to send love to each other during this time. So this Zoom meeting also tell us, they are going to tell us the team, love is borderless. So two schools from thousands of miles away, they are able to send love and care to each other. Very amazing. And then after sharing, I discovered that actually the contents also uh, bring out the team, contentment, appreciation, and gratitude from what they have said is very evident. So this boy from Sunani School, no, he was introduced the Harmony students to his beloved school, although the school is in such inadequacy. But he presented it very well, smilingly all the way. Proud of him. As for the Harmony School, this girl, Nusana, she is able to speak Hindi. She understands. Wow, wow, this, this we never expected. So she immediately translated whatever is being spoken in Hindi to her fellow students, to her fellow, fellow friends in English. Good then, isn't it? So to me, this is a very heartwarming episode. All right. Other than that, of course, uh, during the bamboo bank distribution, I was able to join. Though very tight schedule, I... I find time to join. Hey, please. So from here, I would like to see, I learn, I think I learned from the local volunteers. I learned from the local volunteers. So this local volunteer, Rikash, is so patiently, so patiently explaining the bamboo bank spirit and what's the purpose of the bamboo bank to the shopkeepers. Even being rejected, he also do it smilingly. I think we learn from him. Such is the good attitude portrayed by this local volunteer. And he entered the shops. No matter it's a big shop, a small shop, or even a stall at the roadside. Because he believes everyone can give. Everyone can donate. So after the bamboo band returned home, Wow, that's a good response. I was so <laughs> excited to, to see the good response from the villagers. I tell you, I think response from our local Malaysian also not so good. Though the money collected is not a lot, but the willingness to give, to donate is evident. All right, now comes to team spirit, which we strongly... Uh, uh, encourage. Now, this is the Suchi logo made of echo bricks. You see or not? Very unique, right? So, uh, uh, it takes a long time for them to, to, to collect so many bottles. You know? And then the ship here signifies you know, every volunteers from every mission work together. There must be a team spirit. So we are in the same ship sailing towards the same destination. For this instance, the education volunteers are from a medical, medical uh, team. They conduct a health talk. So all volunteers join in. So you, you can see, you now there is a picture of a master here. Master is observing all the volunteers you know, doing suchi duties under the body tree. Very touching, isn't it? Ah, yes. So on charity day, we must join also. I think I'm willingly to join because this is something new. I'm from education team. I've never you know, go and distribute foods uh, to the care recipients. 
So this is a good experience for me. All right, after the uh, bamboo band returned home, wow, lots of coins. So everyone from every mission come down to count the coins, not easy to count because the coins are so soiled. And then uh, that day that, that light is very dim, but we completed, in the, I think in less than two hours. You know? So for this occasion, during the Zoom meeting, our education volunteers, together with the helps of other uh, volunteers from other missions, we created 60 gratitude cards for Sunani School to be sent to Harmony School students. And last but not least, we must not remember, we must not forget the uh, media team. They are the one you know, who go everywhere during every uh, meet, uh, activities, record down and put it into videos and put it into writings, you know, so that master know about what's happening and everyone who is interested get to know about what's happening in Bukaya. So, so it clearly shows team spirit is the utmost important factor when we are conducting our switchy activities. So now this is the ad hoc opportunities I mentioned earlier on collaboration. So actually we, we it's ad hoc because we didn't plan it, you know, but we hope it will happen. So so we uh we try to have collaboration with the India State of Management and the Megat University. But of course, this one also is accidentally arranged. So our sister from medical mission, she met this professor from IIM, Indian Institute of Management. And then he arranged a, met a meeting with, uh, for, for us, education team, uh, to talk to this professor. And this professor then refer us, uh, connect us with the higher authorities of the college. So we managed to see him, we managed to see them, and then we have emailed them, and then hoping the collaboration will start. But somehow, not yet. But we didn't give up hope. Never mind. The seeds are being sown. We are waiting for it to germinate and to grow and to bear fruit. So the second opportunity comes you know, when Brother Sho managed to uh, arrange a meeting with uh, this uh, Maggot University higher authorities. So in fact, the connection started, right? Because education team arranged the first lesson of Mandarin, the Mandarin learning for the university students. So we can see is germinating. So we are waiting. Why? Why do we want the collaboration? Because we want to, you know, to get these uni students, the higher instead of higher learning students, to uh, help us to collaborate with us in education or maybe in charity or in medical mission, whichever they have interest in. So we want to involve them in social service. I think. Uh, by doing charity work, you know, by a voluntary work. I think this is the part of parcel, part and parcel of the students are uh, in getting their social service. So of course, finally, we hope to get continuous support of manpower who can join us and help us in big events. So finally, hope. So for us, we hope this education uh hope project will be a Continuous team relay. Okay, so where Malaysian education volunteers run the first baton, they are the first baton runner. They prepare the training. They start training using modern approaches integrated with essence of Buddhism, like the book sharing. Okay, and of course the second baton. Who are the second baton? They are the local volunteers. So we would like to, uh, they, they run the second baton. We hope they will fully utilize whatever skills, whatever values, whatever dharma being passed on. So 
master of physics. Please keep on. He hopes that the education volunteers will keep on recruiting, recruiting living bodhisattvas uh, among the local volunteers and the teachers. So we are trying hard. We are trying hard. So for the first and second uh, baton runners here, we hope that they need to learn and relearn knowledge and skills to create wholesome environment in the school and expose the school children to wholesome teaching. So that's our hope. So as for the teachers, you see, why are we doing training, teacher training? They are the last baton, the third baton. So uh, we will pass on the knowledge, the skills, the dharma to them, and hopefully they will pass on to the next generation. So for the, for the local teachers, we hope they will actualize skills and value pass on to transform the students. That's the next generation by practicing suci dharma uh, on, uh, on the students to do good deeds every day. Very simple one. To do good deeds every day, which will give rise to thoughts of kindness. Simple thing. So during our uh, last week, so we start involving you know, the teachers in the teaching because they have to know what's going on. And then only they are able to receive our beta and carry on. They are the most important people there uh, to make this whole project successful. So in all, if the pass, passing of beta runs smoothly as planned, then I'm sure, I think, the goal in education hope project will be attained. So I would like to end the, the, the session with this Jinsi Aparism. Treat the world as our classroom where each person is a teacher. Everyone is a teacher. Even a student can be a teacher to you. And each encounter, what has happening, uh, each encounter is a lesson to us. So that's all from me. Most can earn uh, Sister Wunki or Madam, as I used to call her, yeah, for the most insightful, I think, yeah, uh, very insightful and most enriching uh, sharing that uh, we have seen today, very much details of the footprints in Bodhgaya that I see are getting more and more, and these footprints are getting deeper and deeper. Yeah, yes, sir, the jiao in or and seeing that uh, the teams are using all sorts of skillful means to hong fa li sen as what master want to, out of just one single thought of master to repay the grace of Buddha, uh, we can see today so many seeds are being sown. Uh, and uh, truly, it's uh, really amazing. I, I'm just lost for words. Uh, and truly, like what Sister Wunki says, and also what master wished for us to do, is that the passing on of the baton is in this great relay of love to transform yeah, Bodh Gaya, uh, Buddha's homeland, through education. Once again, our deepest gratitude to Sister Wunki. Yes. But I have one question, uh, Sister Wunki. Yes. Okay, since uh, I know we are a bit over short of time. I know you because I always look up to you because uh, I feel that you are a great administrator because you come from administrating of schools and all that. Um, what is the difference, uh, main difference between um, the teachers there and the teachers here in Malaysia? Because we focus a lot on the children as well. But maybe, um, Sister Wengi, can you share with us your insights? Yes, I think the teachers are the most important people because mm, they are the most important. Right? Children, right? Not us, we just went there for one once a week uh, for the lesson. So the teachers there at the beginning, I think they are taking in very slowly, you know. But mm. that is why I reminded them, please get to the headmaster first. The headmaster is, must be fully supportive. Then the teacher will come in. That is why I insist during our humanistic lesson, all the teachers, not all, sorry, 
the class teacher who is supposed to be there because we dare not take too much teachers must be there. And then gradually you see us passing the you know, lesson to them. Yes. So they must feel it. So I think I would say very good, very responsive. Very and good then, and responsive. Ah, because this is cooperation between the, you know, the education team and the headmaster and the teachers. Right. Mm. So right? this golden triangle must be there. Of course, we cannot involve the parents yet. But we involve the parents in the happy hour. Happy hour. Yes. <laughs> That's why you see all these sort of things. You so have this is something new. Uh, really can see all sort of skillful means uh, come in. Uh, today, mm. uh, really a very enriching uh, sharing by Sister Wunki. And I guess for all of us uh, who has not been to Wodgaya, please do seize the affinity. It, uh, it's life changing, uh, Sister Wunki, I would yes, say. Yes, yes. True, true. And <laughs> You will see different things, you know. The children are yes, very, yes. They are so eager to learn. You look at their eyes, ah. Huh? Really correct, good. correct, correct. Let's conduct our our activities well, so yeah. to fully utilize the time you are there. And then, of course, the mat. I think the most in the water part. The next batch will come in. Work correct. Uniformly. It right. must be on the same basis. Do not confuse them. So, uh, we, of course, it's being done by Sister Lee. Huh? So everything is doing so well. I see so much changes because I do follow up, you know. Even yes. after leaving, I follow up Correct. and see big progress <laughs> from the local volunteers, from the teachers. I think from yep. the students. So I would say... Very hopeful, truly. Um, very grateful uh, to actually see all these uh, progress that is taking place and uh, all the big uh, seeds that is sprouting so well and actually growing into big trees, la, especially like Brother Deepa. Uh, <laughs> it's one of the first seeds. <laughs> yeah, okay. Uh, it's, uh, I'm uh, very, very grateful and uh, very mindful. The time is uh, 8.36 already. Um, we look forward to uh, maybe in the future, Sisters Wunki sharing with us again because I think she has a lot of treasures that uh, we can actually learn from. All right. So um, before we go, uh, shall we all uh, rise uh, to pay homage and uh, respect to Sang Ren by offering our three sincere bows? Please rise. First bow. Second bow. And third bow. And a bow to all, uh, to uh, both Sufus as well. And I uh, would like to invite Sister Wong Xiao Chi, uh, who is um uh, our long tower uh, dragon head, to say a few words uh, before we end. Sister Xiao Chi. Oh, Sister Stephanie, uh, first, uh, can uh, earn greatly for the very fluid and smooth uh, facilitating, and can earn to our powerful sharers uh, from Sister Yi Ru. Sister Lynette, uh, and now Sister Wunki. Yeah, we truly hope to hear from each of you again. Uh. Uh, just reach out to both Sister Yiru and uh, Sister Lynette from uh, the uh, Philippines. Uh. Yes, both of them, they will share again. Especially, we know that like uh, the Philippines side, the 10 years anniversary, just to share, use the 40 minutes, I think it's, uh, I must apologize to, to the Philippines team. So it's definitely not enough. Uh. They are wealth of... Uh, stories uh, and the uh, sister is also in documentation team <laughs> so we got the very uh, good share very grateful to sister peggy uh, our philippines uh, uh liaison side uh, she is oh, she always provides us with the very best speaker so and of course sister winky uh reach out to sister and uh, we are most grateful to Sister Yi Qing. Actually, Sister Yi Qing is always uh, uh, with, uh, with the education missions, uh, always thinking of ways uh, on how to contribute better and share better their stories. Uh. A lot of these stories are uh, uh, often, uh, uh, is, of course, uh, we know uh, this, uh, it, it's, it's also not enough for them to share their experiences in just, such a short time. But we're also very grateful that the sisters are willing to seize the moment and uh, inspire us. Uh. Yes. Yeah. Very good promo. Those who have not gone, I'm sure after today's sharing, uh, they were like, wow, but Koma, Koma is a very inspired time to go, really. Gaan. Okay, back to you, Sister Stephanie. Uh, okay, gaan. 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 So, um, 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 yeah, maybe all uh, today's uh, wholesome uh, engaging in, I think, more, uh, almost three hours, uh, maybe dedicate uh, the merits uh, to uh, all the sentient beings uh, in the world. In the world, uh, may might be purified, yeah. Uh, 
may uh, societies uh, be in harmony and may the world be free from conflicts and disasters. Okay, and to Futatia. Have a great weekend. Bye bye. Bye bye. Thank you everyone for staying. Yes, thank you so much for